Here we are again. Look, God's still in the house. Um, yeah, about to head to Cambodia next week. And uh, but it's goodbye. It's goodbye from Pai. You know, there's not really much progress around here, but no progress is good. Like everything's closed on a Sunday. And um, you know, what's progress anyway, other than changing how we pronounce Adidas and Nike and whatnot. Anyway, there's a shop there and you can sit along there and look over there, it's very beautiful. Some people selling uh, food just there as well, which I often, uh, often pick up a little bit of street side, street side food. Teeth aren't getting any more white, are they? I've sort of temporarily stopped smoking as well. Got some patches on, it never lasts. But anyway, never does it justice, this, but it's very beautiful in Pai, anyway, I recommend it. Just outside Chiang Mai, North Thailand. Fully recommended. Everyone's like friendly and beautiful and very laid back, to say the least. You know, you got the, uh, the national dress is t shirt, shorts, flip flops, whether you're man, woman, or any age, it's just moped, dog on the back of the moped, national dress on, unless of course you, uh, you're one of those very ahead of the game tie for the want of a much better word, lady boy, who dresses very, she will dress very fabulous. Everyone else is just in t-shirts, shirts and flip-flops. And yeah, God's still over there. And I wonder, I wonder if I've got that much else to say. Possibly not. I've not really thought it out very well, have I? Anyway, this is um, this is me going out for some food. I was out here earlier in a sort of bit of a posh, sort of boutique place. Um, you know, avocado and mushroom on toast. But I'm going to go out for something more traditional. There's a Two Sisters restaurant down there. It's very cool. And the man's very nice. He gave me a lift on his bike the other day. Another good place here. Is he open? No, he's not actually open, but you know, they're kind of, they're very slow to start the week after their Sunday. You know, it kind of tips into Monday morning, stroke afternoon, whatever, you know. Um, but yeah, Moss to Two Sisters, fabulous um, little establishment. Get lots of bikes here, hopefully you'll catch him as he goes past. And they're kind of like sidecars, but for like carrying stuff, I mean, they get enough on the back as it is, you know what I mean? A few kids, dog. It's, I've got to the point now where it's like normal that I see a dog on the back of a moped. I mean, they go slow and hold on to it. It's not dangerous or anything. But um, this one, Air Thai Food, it's currently, yeah, it's only Monday. Probably be open tomorrow. But um, yeah, I get fantastic Thai food there. Oh, local guy. Um, yeah, very cheap. And uh, yeah. I haven't got any philosophical wisdom, really. Other than, you know what I mean, like, but it's progress, everything it's made out to be. It's nice to be here where everything's kind of like, just, like, the last few decades I haven't happened, it's fine. And which is good, and there's a flop, flop-eared dog ahead. Um, yeah, we're, 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 we're Boutique. I mean, I can talk. I was in there eating, wasn't I, this morning for breakfast? But um, yeah, full of white people or phalangs or phalangs, it's, you know, because you don't pronounce the R's here. But anyway, I don't know, let's let's do it this way. Enough of enough of Shane's face. Jesus Christ! Look, Westerner on bike, uh, dog, local man. Still very good. Nowhere tea house. Sign for sign to nowhere. Uh, we're about to walk across the road. Uh, Black Goat Inc. Get yourself a tattoo. Might be open in a few days. A bit of a sort of like retro jumble shop in there as well. And to be honest, they've got this whole thing going here, which is like some kind of like. It's like going to visit your nan. It's as if she'd like moved into a sort of vacant isle of Asda that's been like 
relocated into like a northern derelict seaside town in the 80s kind of feel to all the shops it's like a kind of like weird kitsch kitsch kind of i look western and not used to riding a bike probably fall off um yeah like kitsch but i don't know if it's like into the realms of tacky fucking bears everywhere and then also they'll just have the tv in the shop and the family it's kind of like their living room and it's the shop and it's multi-generational but yeah so we're about to um that's something but i don't know what it is this is two sisters which is apparently not open all my, all my restaurants are not open i'm gonna starve look at them i'm fucking wasting away here Jesus. Luckily I'd already visited the roadside place and bought myself a little bag of stuff for later. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is like the road into town. But I'm not going to walk down it because those of you who might have seen my very short video on the bamboo bridge, because like this part of pie is like disconnected from the rest of pie, luckily, where young people are drinking. It, and um, it's connected by a bamboo bridge, which always looked to me, I always felt to me like it was going to fall down, and it did. So, um, yeah, you can't get into town that way, so you have to walk the long way around, and I can't really be, like, bothered. So anyway, I think it's my local shop shall suffice. And, um, yeah. It was closed last night, which was good, which means I didn't do my, uh, you know, like... Gack, buying rubbish. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? But yeah, so they love a bit of like tacky kitsch, teddy bears. Oh, there's a nice little bamboo. That was like the bamboo bridge that fell down. And they are going to fix it apparently, but it might say, oh look, some chickens. Oh, nobody here but us chickens. Hopefully you've caught them. Some dogs. Non-alcoholic beers, only healthy drinks in the nowhere tea house apparently. Here we go, vegan smoothie bowls. I did have one of their super antioxidant bowls, it's very nice. Cost like 120 baht though. That's like it's about three quid. Which is like outrageous. Because uh, that's how much I spend on my accommodation. Because you know, one has to, I have to live within one's means, which is good though. Because I like, I only want to eat. I don't even like going in those places. It gives me the fear. And they're full of white people. Like, I can meet white people in. You know, I've known loads of white people. There's a very cool guy there with loads of tattoos. They're really good at tattoos. They're good at having tattoos and rocking the tattoos but yeah before we go let's have a bit more god um yeah and uh, more from me in cambodia next week but for now this is a uh, sayonara from pie i think some chai in pie maybe in my non-alcoholic mai tai uh yeah it's nice around here. We're not so far from the Burmese border, actually. I've heard talk of, sad talk of, like, hearing about some people have been rounded up trying to get across from Burma into Thailand, etc. Yeah, a lot of rum business in the world, isn't there? But um, anyway, we're, we're all right here. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, there goes that person. It's like street orc. Go to my version of 7-Eleven. And someone sat on the sunset view, buggers. And this is also the time of night when I close my windows and my doors and put the mesh across because it's mosquito o'clock as well. But someone gave me a little plastic bag today, which I'm going to catch them in rather than kill them. So yeah, I'm going to get more. Yeah, let's not kill things. Look, Westerners. There's no entry sign, probably. I walked down there the other day. Um, yeah. Ciao. In a little uh, addendum, is that the word? 
that's where I buy my street food from. That's where I buy my snacks from. And that's where, and this is where I sit watching the uh, sunset view. When there's not someone here who's been drinking alcohol. Smoking cigarettes, which I don't do either. And look, that's my guest house. Isn't it, isn't it, isn't the world wonderful?